Hello, today we're going to talk about the professional learning project and how to view it in Observation Studio. First, log into Falcon World and then click on Observation Studio. At the top, you'll receive your navigation menu and you'll want to click on the new button that's at the top. It will present you with a very familiar screen that you've seen when you've done your formal observation. Start typing in the person's name that you would like to have the professional project for. The name will start to appear and you just click on the name as it appears in the bottom. Just as you would with a formal observation, you start typing your email to the person. Since this is a professional learning project and not a formal observation, you'll check mark the check box below. The one that says check this box if staff member will be doing a professional learning project and then click an email. An email will go to the staff member and it will set them up for the professional learning project. This will take you back to your dashboard. On your dashboard, you will see the name of the individual that you set up for professional learning project plans. And you'll notice that there's another layer to Observation Studio. One of the pieces that we have added into the Observation Studio is the little red trash can that's next to the person's name. If you click this, it'll take you to another screen that will ask you, do you really want to delete this observation? If you do this, it cannot be done, undone. This is a permanent deletion. So in this case, let's say, yes, we want to delete it. We just click the yes button and then that observation is done. This will delete it if you have like accidentally click on someone or you decided not to do this particular observation or professional learning project. If you click on it by mistake, just click the no button and it will take you back to your main dashboard. At your dashboard, when the individual has created and uploaded their project proposal, you'll see a green check mark under the project proposal column. When you're ready to look at that, you'll want to click on the blue handshake under project approval. When you do this, it'll open up a new screen that lays out the entire project proposal. This will have all of the team members, the project proposal, the rationale for the project. It'll have all of the questions for domain one and domain four, except for the reflection aspect of it. And then at the very bottom, there will be the proposed timeline. This will be the timeline the person is presenting to you for your approval. If everything looks kosher, you're ready to move ahead with it, then click the Approve Proposal button, and that will let the individual know that their project has been approved. If you feel as if the person needs to add more to their timeline or answer the questions better, then click the Back button and email the person what they're missing. The teacher will then be able to go in and edit their original proposal. You don't have to unlock anything. It's always going to be available for them to go back and make adjustments to it, to whatever you need it to say. Once you have approved the proposal, you'll notice a green check mark is under the project approval. And now there is a red X under log of activities. The log of activities is the actual list of activities that meet whatever the project proposal guidelines were. So at the end of the year, when they have documented everything that they needed to to complete their proposed project, they'll be able to submit it. When it's submitted, you'll notice that there is now a uh, green check mark under the log of activities, and you now have a project approval blue handshake. You'll be able to click on the project approval blue handshake, and this will take you into something that you're very, very familiar with. Okay, it's the domain one rubric. The green items are items that the teacher has selected. So when you first come into this site, they'll all be green, everything that the teacher has selected. When you select an item, it's going to be in the blue color. Now, if both you and the teacher agree, you can click on top of the green checkbox or green box in the rubric, and it will turn blue. Whatever is selected blue is the final piece that will be on the documentation. 
If you need to go back and take a look at the final project to understand what they did, you'll notice in the left-hand navigation, there is an option that says final project. If you click on that final project, it will open another tab up and that tab will give you the final project. And in there, you'll see the proposed timeline and you'll also see the log of activities. You may have to go in and click on that final project to overview it and see it before you even go in and do rubric one and rubric four. So once you view all of that, again, the log of activities, that will give you the actual list that they completed, not their proposed, but what they actually completed with the domains tagged with it. And then that's when you can go in, complete rubric one, and then you'll click on the left-hand side to go to the domain four rubric, and then that'll bring you into domain four rubric. And just like before, green is what the teacher proposes that they're self-assessing themselves. And then the blue is anything that you select. If both you and the teacher agree, then when you click on the green items, it will turn blue because the blue is the final options that will be printed on their, their paper. Once you have done, once you've reviewed fi the final project, domain one rubric you've completed, domain four rubric you've completed, everything is exactly the way that you want it. Then on the left-hand navigation piece, you'll see approved project. When you click on this, it will approve the project and close the project. So when the project is closed, you'll notice the person's name has disappeared underneath the professional learning project plans because the project has been approved, completed, and closed. If you need to go back and review that particular project or want to just look it over, you can always go to the top of the navigation uh, menu, click on archives. It'll bring up a window where you can start typing the person's name, then click on the person's name as it appears in the drop down box. It will give you a list of all of the completed observations. You'll see formal observations and professional development project observations. And you click on the one that you would like to see, and that will bring up the completed document for you. So this completes all of the process to do a professional learning project. If you have any questions, please reach out to Technology Services. Thank you.